The Top 10 Most Dangerous Countries in the World 2023 The GPI report assesses 163 countries representing more than 99.7% of the world's total population. The report's factors are divided into three categories, safety and security, ongoing conflict, and militarization. The following factors were considered when compiling this report. The number of internal and external violent conflict, the level of distress, political instability, the potential for terrorist acts, the number of homicides, and military spending as a percentage of GDP. Based on these factors, a score is assigned to each of the report's 163 countries. The higher the score, the more dangerous the country is and the lower its safety ranking. Number 10. Sudan Sudan is one of the world's most dangerous countries in 2023 for a variety of reasons. Years of violence and conflict have devastated the country, and the situation is only getting worse. Since 1983, the country has been at war, and over 2 million people have died as a result. The Sudanese government is also accused of genocide in the Darfur region, which has forced millions of people to flee. Furthermore, Sudan is plagued by extremist groups such as Al-Qaeda and ISIS, which have carried out numerous terror attacks in the country. Number 9. Central African Republic The Central African Republic is one of the most dangerous countries in the world due to ongoing conflict and a humanitarian crisis. For many years, the country has been plagued by violence and instability, with no end in sight. More than half of the population requires humanitarian assistance, and the conflict has displaced millions. Civilians have also suffered greatly as a result of the violence, with thousands killed or injured and countless others raped or subjected to other forms of violence. People are unable to go about their daily lives without fear of being attacked, and those who have sought refuge in other countries face an uncertain future. Number 8. Somalia Somalia is ranked 156th on the Global Peace Index 2023, making it the world's eighth most dangerous country. In recent years, Somalia has faced significant challenges, including political instability, insecurity, and poverty. Somalia's humanitarian situation is also dire, with over 6 million people in need of assistance. Furthermore, the country is home to a number of terrorist organizations, including Al-Shabaab, which has carried out attacks on civilians. The Somali government has been working to improve the country's security situation and has made some progress in recent years. However, much more work remains to be done to make Somalia safe for civilians. Number 7. Iraq Iraq is ranked 157 on the Global Peace Index, making it the world's seventh most dangerous country. This is primarily due to the country's ongoing conflict and violence. The consequences of the Iraq War, as well as ongoing conflicts, have displaced millions of people, killed thousands of civilians, and caused enormous human suffering. Furthermore, the Iraqi government has been ranked as one of the most corrupt in the world, adding to the country's instability. Number 6. Democratic Republic of the Congo For many years, the Democratic Republic of the Congo has been plagued by violence and conflict and the situation is only getting worse. The government is in shambles, and various armed groups operate across the country. There is also a high level of poverty and inequality, which makes recruiting new members for criminal gangs and terrorist organizations simple. The Democratic Republic of the Congo is a dangerous place to live, and it is likely to remain one of the world's most dangerous countries for many years to come. Number 5. South Sudan in 2022, South Sudan will be the fifth most dangerous country in the world. Since its independence from Sudan in 2011, the country has been plagued by violence and civil war. Over 400,000 people have been killed and over 2 million have been displaced as a result of the conflict. South Sudan also has a number of armed groups, making it a difficult place to live. Furthermore, the country's infrastructure is in disrepair and basic services such as healthcare and education are in short supply. Number 4. Russia. Due to its high homicide rate and increasing political instability, Russia is the fourth most dangerous country in the world in 2023. Russia has a high homicide rate when compared to other countries, with approximately 9.5 murders per 100,000 people. This is most likely due to Russia's high levels of poverty and inequality, as well as the country's lack of rule of law and widespread corruption. Furthermore, Russia is experiencing growing political instability, with protests and opposition movements becoming more common. In the future, this could lead to increased violence and civil unrest. Number 3. Syria Since 2011, 
Syria has been embroiled in a devastating civil war. The death toll has surpassed 250,000, and the number of internally displaced people has surpassed 7.6 million. The infrastructure of the country has been destroyed, and its healthcare and education systems are in shambles. The conflict has also resulted in the rise of terrorist organizations such as ISIS, which has carried out atrocities against civilians. Furthermore, Syria's proximity to Europe has resulted in an unprecedented refugee crisis. All of these factors have combined to make Syria the world's third most dangerous country in 2023. Number 2. Yemen Yemen is the world's second most dangerous country in 2023. The country has been in the grip of a civil war since 2015, and the situation is deteriorating. Tens of thousands of people have been killed and millions more have been displaced as a result of the conflict. Basic services like healthcare and education are in short supply, and famine is widespread. The war has also allowed terrorist organizations such as Al-Qaeda and ISIS to gain a foothold in the country, making civilians even more vulnerable. Number 1. Afghanistan Afghanistan is the world's most dangerous country due to ongoing conflict and instability. Over two decades of war have taken their toll on the country, leaving it with one of the world's lowest human development indices. The ongoing conflict has also resulted in high levels of violence and insecurity, with civilians bearing the brunt of the brunt of the consequences. Corruption has also plagued the Afghan government, making it difficult to provide basic service and improve the country's infrastructure. Subscribe, and you'll never miss a video.